Miles? Where did you go? I heard you disappeared halfway through while the doctor was explaining the symptoms of our son's illness to you. I'm not back at 100% myself yet, so I really need to know what's going on. <coughs> Miles? What happened? Where are you? Not what happened. Come on, Jade. I just found out my son has an incurable illness. Anyone would feel shaken about to hear a bomb like that dropped on them. Maybe so, but he's still your son, you know. Surely we have a duty as his parents to understand the disease and the treatment he'll have to go through? I understand exactly how you feel. Believe me, I do. But even though he was born with this illness that he may never recover from, he's still doing his best to survive. He's still fighting. We have to fight too, Miles. We have to do it for him. This is your fault. What? It's got nothing to do with me. You're the one who gave birth to a sickly kid, which means he's your responsibility. Hold on a minute. What the hell? If you're being serious, what a horrible thing to say. Don't you think I was surprised myself when I found out he had a potentially incurable illness when he was born? That doesn't change the fact he's our son. I struggled and I suffered and I did my best to bring him into this world. Why would you say something like that? You're the one who gave birth to a sickly kid. You and no one else. What do you expect me to say? He's got nothing to do with me, and he ain't my problem. I intend to go about my life as usual. Miles, hold on. What the hell are you saying? Please, can we speak in person? We can't discuss something this important over message. It's so impersonal. You haven't been to see me at the hospital even once. Do you have any idea how long it takes me to drive to the hospital? 30 minutes! Sheesh. Would you just put a lid on it already, woman? You're real annoying. Surely you can figure out how to get by on your own somehow. You're a mom now. Can't rely on me for everything all the time. What does your signature look like? Can you send me a picture? What? Why? Oh, right. Do you want it for the birth certificate? Like hell I do. We're getting a divorce. I'll just forge it if you don't tell me. Oh my god! I'm in a hospital bed after finding out our newborn son has an incurable illness and you're divorcing me? Where the hell did this Miles come from? I barely recognize you anymore. You changed yesterday as soon as you found out about our son's illness. This sickly kid. I'm divorcing you. Seriously? What has gotten into you? I already told you. I don't want anything to do with that sickly brat. Wow. Just wow, Miles. Are you serious? Tell me you're not, please. You think I'd joke about something like this? I want the perfect family. A beautiful wife who always gets the housework done on time. A healthy child. The kid you just gave birth to doesn't even come close to my ideal vision. He's subpar and defective at best, which is 100% your responsibility. Wait, what? Are you saying you married me because I'm good at housework? Bingo! You enjoy housework. You enjoy cooking. And to top it off, you're not bad looking either. What's more, you're completely subservient to me. I really like all that stuff about you, babe. I also like the fact you're timid and have low self-esteem. The fact you struggle to assert yourself means you're really easy to deal with. I see. So you've never loved me. <laughs> loved you? <laughs> I never knew you were such a romantic, babe. What is this, a chick flick? <laughs> what does that matter anyway? I always fulfilled my duties as a husband, didn't I? Have you ever struggled for money? Even once? Has there ever not been food on the table? Huh? I'm an elite husband of the kind most women would kill for. Not just that, but my mom and dad are stinking rich. I'm one of life's winners. The chosen few. The cream of the crop. I think you get it. Anyway, if anything, you should be grateful you got to marry me. Even if only temporarily. Aren't you happy you got to find out what it was like to live with such a fine specimen of a man? Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened, sweet cheeks. 
I thought you loved me this whole time. I really did. But now I understand. You're despicable, and I have nothing else to say to you. Why would you believe something like that? You're so presumptuous, babe. <laughs> despicable? Roar, get him, tiger. <laughs> but hey, on the bright side, if I'm that despicable, you'll be eager to get this divorce over with as quickly as possible, right? I'm pleased we see eye to eye on this. Good girl. And don't worry, babe. I accept I'm the one who initiated the divorce, so I don't mind if I have to pay compensation. <laughs> Child support is basically a foregone conclusion for dads in this day and age. The system is rigged against us men, so naturally you'll be getting that too. That just about covers everything. We're done here. Miles, where are you right now? What do you want, Mom? I'm hella busy right now. Sorry to disturb you, but there's something I need to ask you about your divorce with Jade. Oh, it's about the divorce? Isn't she just the worst? I mean, seriously, the nerve. Can you believe she had the chutzpah to give birth to such a sickly kid and then expect me to have anything to do with it? Yes, the worst. Truly, the most disgraceful thing I've ever seen in all my years on this earth. You, that is. Huh? Me? Are you a moron as well as a scumbag? Obviously, I mean you. Who else could be described in such terms in this situation? You run away from the hospital with your tail between your legs the moment you find out your newborn son has an incurable disease. Who other than you could be the scumbag here? Quit messing around, Mom. That stings, even for a joke. You seriously expect me to raise a kid like that? He's your son, so obviously I do. Although looking at your behavior, maybe it's for the best he grows up not knowing you exist. Because we sure as hell don't need two wastes of space like you on this planet. I feel so awful for Jade. She's a lovely girl who deserves so much better than this. Don't give her your sympathy, Mom. What the hell? How am I the bad guy here? What need would I have for a sickly kid like that? He'd be nothing but a burden. Not just sickly, but incurably sickly. That means his whole life. Anyone would hesitate to put their time and money into raising such a defective excuse for a human. In that case, maybe I should toss you in the trash where you belong then. You suffered from the same disease as little Billy when you were a baby after all. Did you know that? Oh yeah, Billy is your son's name. Huh? Isn't it lovely? Me and Jade decided on it. No, not that. What do you mean I had the same disease? That's right. The doctor told me there was a chance you might never recover. In spite of that, I still raised you. Then when you were four months old, it disappeared on its own and you made a full recovery. You have no idea how glad I was. What the? So it's not an incurable disease after all. <laughs> you should really go and tell Jade and the doctor. I don't think they got the memo. <laughs> I know you're a complete moron, but are you short of seeing too? How many times do I have to tell you the doctors don't know whether it'll get better? In some cases it does, in some it doesn't. You've put me in a real difficult spot here, Mom. How can I make an informed decision on the divorce without having access to all the information? You should have told me this way before now. Excuse me? It seems to me like you've already made your mind up on the divorce. Nah, I'm flexible on this. If he recovers from his illness, then I won't divorce her. In that case, she could still make the grade and still gets to be my wife. Even if you want to stay with her, she's done with you now after how you've acted. Surely you realize that. I told you! I only acted like that because I thought the brat was going to be sickly and infirm forever. If that's not the case, I'm happy to apologize. That won't be necessary. It won't? Oh yeah, that reminds me. It's about the compensation. It turns out the amount you'll be paying is actually higher than we initially expected. I take it you understand why. Huh? How can I understand if you don't tell me? Stop messing me around, Mom! That's right. When you made your escape from the hospital, you went straight to your lover's house to live with her, didn't you? I'm sat enjoying a coffee at her house right now. So make sure you hurry and come see me soon. I'll say that one more time. Get your backside over here, right now. Um, Mom? 
Oh, yeah. And make sure you grab the divorce papers while you're at it. Pronto! Mom, please, just wait a sec. I need to confirm something real quick here. You're on my side here, aren't you? Cut the crap, Miles. I'm sick of your attitude. I'm in the apartment block run by Peeps Properties on 7th Avenue, room 201. That's where you've been living since making your cowardly escape, isn't it? I couldn't find you at the old house, so I figured this was the only place you could be. You can't keep running, Miles. Oh, and by the way, I explained everything to your lover. Turns out she didn't have a clue you were married with a child on the way. It looks like you've gotten yourself into quite the mess, huh? Anyway, chop chop, son. You better not keep me waiting. You've been tracking me down! Mom, look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll apologize. I'll pay compensation. I'll do anything. Just don't tell Jade your dad about this, please? That ship has already sailed. Jade's known about what you've been doing behind her back for ages now. She knew? Like hell she did! How? Look, I'm only telling you this because you're my mom, but I went to every length to ensure my secret never got out. I moved with double agent level stealth. My cover was flawless. Jade loved you from the bottom of your heart. When you love someone that much, you notice even the tiniest change in their behavior. When she announced that she was pregnant, she said you seemed a lot less pleased than she expected you to be. Disappointed, even. Obviously, she couldn't go confronting you based on that alone. But she said that after the announcement, you became more and more distant by the day. Eventually getting so bad you barely ever communicated. On top of that, she said you were acting all kinds of strange. I don't think I need to say anything else. I know you know what I mean. She broke down in tears and told me everything when she couldn't take keeping it all bottled up any longer. After that, I decided to hire a private investigator. So you did hire a private investigator, huh? I had my suspicions. I hate backstabbing women like you who sneak around in the shadows like cowardly rats. Have you thought about my feelings even once? Sneaking around like cowardly rats? You've got some nerve. Who's the one who's been sneaking around his wife's back having an affair? Do you have any idea what you've done to that poor girl? You were having an affair. Not only that, but you abandon your kid the moment you realize he's ill? You are not fit to be a parent. You couldn't atone for what you've done even if you had 10 lifetimes. Do you have any idea how much pain and suffering you've caused your wife? How fragile her mental state is now because of you? And yet, here you are acting like you've done nothing wrong, like butter wouldn't melt, accusing us of being at fault. Come on, Mom, I get it, I get it! I'll apologize for the affair. Can we just put this to bed already? Can you please tell Jade to hold off on the divorce for the time being? What? You expect her to hold off on the divorce? You cannot be serious. My head hurts. The kid's gonna get better, right? You said it yourself. If he doesn't get better, we go through the divorce. If he does get better, we don't. It's pretty simple. How does that sound? Let's say it. She's gonna be over the moon when she hears she's still in with a chance with me. Wow, you... you are just... What do I even say to this level of, I can't, I just can't? Your divorce is already set in stone, and you're a delusional moron in genuine need of psychiatric help if you think otherwise. Me and Jade will be looking after little Billy from now on. Wait, what? Why would you be involved? To be more precise, me and your father. You are aware Jade isn't in contact with her family and doesn't know any of her relatives, aren't you? That's why me and your dad intend to be there to support her through thick and thin. Just tell me one thing, Mom. Why are you so committed to having Jade's back? I'm your son, not her! Well, there is the fact that I feel a degree of responsibility for my scumbag son betraying and abandoning her. But even regardless of that, I've always thought she's a wonderful person. Plus, and I never told you about this, but she's my cooking teacher. Your cooking teacher? I've been brushing up on my cooking skills for at least a few years now. You always made sure to tell me how awful my cooking was ever since you were a little boy. I wanted to get better for when I had grandkids to look after one day. Memories of you blurting out things like, I ain't eating this crap, do better! And throwing your plate against the wall, 
or flushing the food I made you down the toilet stick out in my mind all too vividly. I can't tell you how much it always shocked me. Besides, you must at least know about Jade. She's been running a cooking class since before you were married. She's a certified teacher. I kept it a secret from everyone because I wanted you all to be surprised when you tasted the difference in my food. And Jade was kind enough to keep it on the down low. Back when you introduced me to her as your girlfriend, I was so pleased when I found out she loved to cook. I'd always imagined how amazing it would be if you had a wife who could cook. So yes, Jade is just fantastic. Unfortunately, you're a reprehensible dirtbag, which is why she has my full support over the divorce. Whatever. That's enough. I'm done with this conversation. Plus, if you're going to be supporting her, then she won't be needing compensation from me anymore, will she? I'm actually pleased. That's completely unrelated. You'll be paying every penny of the compensation and child support you owe her. We'll lawyer up if you refuse. Oh yeah, one more thing. You probably think you're still getting inheritance from me and your dad, don't you? I hate to break this to you, my dear son, but every last penny of it, assets and all, are going into a fund for little Billy when he grows up. What? Oh, wait a second. No! Surely you can't do that! I'm your son! That means I have a legal right to my inheritance! Yeah, that's right! You can't do that! I will get what's mine! Oh, yes we can. There is such a process called disinheritance of an heir. If you don't know what that means, I suggest you look it up. What a shame! Your future's already been laid out for you. It's been that way ever since you made the decision to cheat on your wife. Mom, please! I'm your son! We're family! Flesh and blood! How can you toss me by the wayside while being so blindly loyal to a stranger? Have you never loved me? Of course I loved you. I've always loved you and done my best to provide for you no matter what. Even when you threw away your food in front of my eyes. Even when you set fire to the scarf I knitted you. Even when I caught you tipping other children upside down to steal their milk money. Even when I caught you stealing money from my purse, I loved you because you were my son. Yeah, Mom! Stop digging up the past! It's hardly fair to use ancient history against me like this. But you're right. It's just like you say. I'm your son! Loved. Past tense. Even love has its limits, Miles. And mine and your father's love for you has well and truly been exhausted this time. We want nothing more to do with you. Whoa, 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 slow down! Now you're really going too far, wait! I will not wait. Our minds are made up, and this is not negotiable. Really, you've got some gall to play the victim. Have you never loved me? Have you heard yourself? I saw all your chat history with Jade. What did you say to her when she asked you the very same question? Oh man, I just can't catch a break today! Mom! Please forgive me! I'm gonna be there for my son! For little Barry, I swear! His name is Billy. And no, you are most certainly not. Oh, and by the way, your father just arrived at your lover's house. We're both waiting for you. Now hurry the hell up! What? Why is Dad there too? Wasn't he away on business? He was, but now he's back. So let's all have a nice, pleasant chat together. To put it in a way you'll understand, it's time for me and your father to fulfill our final responsibilities to you by cutting our defective son out of our lives once and for all. It goes without saying that Miles didn't have the courage to show up at his lover's house where his mom and dad were waiting. Instead, once again running away with his tail between his legs, this time to his co-worker's house, where he begged him to give him refuge. However, his co-worker couldn't help but feel suspicious and was worried he might be getting wrapped up in some kind of trouble. When he pressed Miles for an explanation, he went to great lengths to rearrange the story in a way that was convenient for him, omitting anything that might show him in a negative light. But in spite of his best efforts, his co-worker, who is known for being short-tempered, yelled, quit being such a pain in everyone's ass, snatched his phone, and called Miles' dad. 
His dad drove down at once and dragged his son kicking and screaming out of his co-worker's toilet, which he had attempted to lock himself inside. After that, Miles broke down in tears and begged my parents to convince me not to go through with the divorce, not to mention bombarding me with messages. Of course, I ignored him and continued with the proceedings. Thankfully, the divorce went through without a hitch, thanks to the help of my in-laws. They were super cooperative and kindly went to the trouble of finding a lawyer while I had my hands full with recovering in the hospital and the shock of finding out about my son's illness. It turned out I wasn't the only one Miles had been deceiving. He was forced to pay compensation not only to me, but also to his lover, who had no idea he was a married man. My son's illness was called congenital hyperincinalism. Fortunately, it only ended up being temporary, and he made a full recovery after three weeks. Now we're living together at home, and he's full of energy and a joy to be around. Me and the in-laws are absolutely smitten with him and they come over to see him every single day. I count my lucky stars that I was able to get his deadbeat dad out of our lives. What kind of monster could say they don't want anything to do with such a cute little boy? When I was at rock bottom after getting hit with the divorce, lost in a daze with no idea what to do, my stepmom hugged me tightly and said she loved me as if I was her own daughter. Miles could never understand just how reassuring it feels to hear such kind words in a time of need. That said, I don't intend on taking that kindness for granted. Which is why I plan on finding a job so I can bring in the money we need to raise Billy into a fine young man. I'm also praying he grows up to be thoughtful and kind. The last thing the world needs is another Miles.